guys, welcome back to another Figure Friday. Uh, this week, I'm really excited about this figure here. Uh, I pre-ordered this one months back when I first decided that I wanted to start picking up figures and I was patiently waiting for this one. And man, one thing I will say about figure collecting is that that waiting for the figures to come out is a lot more painful than waiting for like Blu-ray and manga to come out for some reason because I really want these figures in my hands and on my shelf and just waiting for them was excruciating for me but we finally got her here. This is my first scale figure that I'll be unboxing for you guys and the first scale figure that I'll be adding to my collection and I'm really happy that it's actually from one of my favorite series or my one of my favorite new series the quintessential quintuplets recently i've just been loving that series i love all of the girls in this series for me they're all best girls or waifus or whatever you want to call it but today we got in ichika nakano which is fitting since she is the eldest sister uh, it's fitting that i got her first so as always let's start off by looking at the box first uh, so here's the front of the box. It's just in this clear case so you can see every all the contents that are inside. And this figure is made by Koto Bukia. From what I've heard, they're a pretty good figure manufacturer and I have pre-ordered the rest of the Nakano sisters so I'm excited to get them all in although it's gonna take probably the whole year before I get all of them. Uh, and it, as it says right there, it is a 1 8 scale pre-painted figure of Ichika Nakano. Uh, going into the side here, you can see that there's sort of like a window type frame here. I guess that kind of signifies the a church window since this is all about trying to figure out who Uesugi is going to end up marrying. Uh, so it makes sense that they have this sort of frame here on the left. And then on the bottom there, it just says the quintessential quintuplets, Ichika Nakano. Then on the back, you get a really nice big image of her with the yellow flowers. Uh, so they kind of match the same flowers that are on the manga. As you guys can see back there, uh, Ichika kind of has the yellow color in the background. So I'm assuming for the rest of these, they're going to kind of follow the same color scheme. So yeah, for Ichika, we have yellow flowers. And going to the last side here, you'll get the full image of her pose here. Uh, so this is what your figure is going to look like once you take it out of the box. So, uh, so we'll take a closer look at it right here in a minute. And then here on the left, it just kind of has some random close-up shots of the figure. So here you can see her socks, her skirt, and I guess her ear in here, it's showing some of the detail. And up here, uh, you get her second face. So this, so this one does come with two faces. Uh, you get this worried kind of face here, and then just her, just kind of her more confident look here. This kind of more represents her uh, so I think I'm going to be keeping this face. Although one thing I did want to mention is that I did make the mistake off ordering this one from Rice Stuff. Like I mentioned, I ordered this months ago uh, before I started to look into figure collectors on YouTube and stuff like that. Recently, I learned that it's always best to just order from AmiAmi. But in this case, it actually would have been better if you ordered directly from Kotobukiya uh, because if you ordered from there, you would get an extra third face, which is nice to have. I have seen some unboxings and I'm not too mad about it because I think even still out of the three faces, I would have still ended up using her, this main face right here. It just, I just feel like it's the perfect face for her. Uh, it matches her personality and it even kind of matches the face that she has in volume two over there, if you guys can kind of see it back there. So yeah, I'm not too mad, but for the future, I am gonna try and pre-order more scale figures from AmiAmi. That is the cheapest place uh, for, for picking up figures. So one last thing that I wanted to show here is just give some credit to the sculptor. So this one is sculpted by Yurai Seki. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but she's I guess she's one of the sculptors from Kotobukiya. I think she did a really good job with her. Well, I, it looks like she did a good job. Let's take a closer look now and take her out of the box. All right, so let's start off by looking at the base and the extras, and then we'll get to the main figure at the end. So taking off the base here from this blister packaging, it's actually really light. Uh, it's a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. So let's take that off. Uh, so yeah, to be honest, it just kind of feels like cheap plastic. 
Uh, the top of the desk here, I think they probably could have done a better job making it look more like wood. Um, just has a uniform smooth surface here, uh, but you can see a little bit of shading here on the paint. So I guess that's what they kind of did there to sort of make it look like wood. Um, but everything else, I mean, it's just a cheap base. Uh, even the bottom here does look pretty cheap, but at the end of the day, it's just a base. And it is nicer than other bases that I've seen out there that are just a plain white base. Um, I do like the fact that this one is kind of like a tile here on the floor. And yeah, we get a little desk so um, Ichika can sit on. And the rest of the figures as well, I think they all include the desk. Um, so yeah, here's the front of the desk. However, I think when you're displaying her, uh, you want her like this. You just have a little bit more space here in the front uh, to kind of put her shoe on as you can kind of see. Uh, from the box over here. So that's pretty much everything I have to say about the base. Uh, let's move on to her shoe. <laughs> so here's the shoe. Uh, I don't know if this can actually fit on her other foot. I guess we'll find out here in a bit, but yeah, not too much to say about the shoe to be honest. I'll just put that right there. All right, so next up, let's take a look at her face, her second face, the worried one. Uh, there we go. Uh, so here's a close-up of the second face. Uh, her nose is pretty cute there. It's just kind of pointing out, uh, which I think looks pretty cute. And the eyes as well. The, the eyes look really nice. Um, if this can focus. Yeah, and all I have to compare it with so far are the Nindroids that I have, which I thought the Nindroids eyes looked really nice, but uh, this one actually just takes it to another level. I think it, it looks just much more defined, and I'm really impressed with the eyes here. Uh, one thing I'm not too impressed with is the mouth. To me, it just kind of looks like a little squiggly line there, so that's the only minor complaint that I have with the face. Um, so yeah, we'll take a look at this one on the figure as well. Um, but for now, I'm gonna set it aside. And now let's get to the main figure. All right, so you do have to kind of take this tape off. All right, guys, so now that I took her out of the plastic blister over here, um, I can definitely feel the quality here in this figure. Um, I've never had a scale figure, so this is the first time that I hold one in my hands, and it has a nice little weight to it. I, I wasn't expecting it to have this weight, as well as the texturing on the skin here, and really the whole figure. It has more, it kind of feels like ceramic, to be honest. I feel like if I were to drop this, it would break, but I'm not, I, I'm pretty sure it's just plastic, but I'm, it just feels like ceramic to me. And just the detail everywhere on her clothes here, even though this is just white, there are different shadings going on there that you can really tell when you take a closer look at this. And then down here on the skirt and in her sweater, there's just different shades of green. And I think it looks really nice all around. I'm just really impressed with this so far. And I'm happy that I finally got into scale figure collecting now that I have one in my hands. Um, but the last thing, let's take a quick look at her face here. Uh, so yeah, I definitely prefer this face over the other one back here. Uh, she also has that cute little nose and just her eyes I think look much better here. And then you also have that shading here on the hair where you go from a light pink to sort of a darker pink down here. And that kind of goes all around her hair. So I'm super happy with this figure and I can't wait to have all of them and display them on the shelf with the manga. Um, one thing though, I wish they would have maybe colored her nails a little different. It just kind of blends in with the skin color. So I feel like if they would have made that pink or something, it would have looked nicer to kind of contrast with her hair color. Uh, but all right, let's try to just take off her face here just to kind of show you guys how easy it is to replace this face. Um, it's really pretty similar to an Android. You just take off that head there and then the face plate comes right off. Then you can just replace the face and put the head back on. Uh, so here's what she looks like with her worried face. And yeah, to me, it doesn't look as nice as the other one. So I'm just gonna quickly switch it back to the other face. 
And to be honest, as I was kind of taking them off, it's a lot looser than the Nindroids. And I feel like it's a little too loose. Like you can quickly take this off and you, you guys can kind of see that when I take this off, uh, the face already starts to fall off. So I feel like they, could, they probably could have made that a little bit tighter uh, so it's not as loose, but I guess once you have it on display on your shelves, you're not, you don't really mess with it. So yeah, I guess it's not that big of a deal, but all right. I think that's it guys. That's everything I have to show you with this figure. I'm really happy with it. Let's put her on the desk here and I'll let's do a quick little showcase. So I really love this figure um, and if you guys are a fan of the quintessential quintuplets I think you'll really enjoy this line that Kodo Bukia is releasing um, It's my favorite amongst the different options that you have right now I think you either can get the Kodo Bukia sets uh, There's also two different pop-up parades that are pretty cheap So if you guys uh, don't want to spend the extra money for these uh, Kodo Bukia figures uh, which are a little bit pricier compared to the pop-up parades. Those are only like 30 bucks each. And um, you have two options there. They, uh, they also have them in sort of their school uniform as well as in their pajamas. Um, personally, I think these are the best ones. So I'm gonna be picking all of these up. However, I did pick up one of the uh, pop-up parades for my favorite girl. Uh, so you guys know who that is. You guys know what figure is coming. I kind of wanted to pick one of the Papa Parade ones just to kind of compare it with this one and just see what the difference in quality is there. So yeah, I think that's it for the, today's unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. It